The most common LVR you'll probably hear is 80% and that's where the banks start to like you as a client. Hi, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about LVRs. Now LVR stands for Loan to Value Ratio. And what it essentially means is what is the value of your house compared to how much mortgage it has over it. The most common LVR you'll probably hear is 80% and that's where the banks start to like you as a client. So if your house is worth $500,000 and your mortgage is $400,000, 80% of the value of your house has a mortgage over it. That gives the bank enough comfort that if the value of your house drops, they will still be able to recover what they have lent you. You'll often hear the term high LVR or low deposit borrower. That tends to refer to anyone who is borrowing over 80%, so they will have put down less than 20% deposit. Typically, the most a bank will lend to is 90%, but we have seen 95% come up occasionally. And to hear more about that, make sure to watch our video on how much deposit you need to buy a house. Now, one of the things that is most confusing is that the LVR constantly changes. Your house doesn't stay valued at $500,000 forever. One month it might be worth $510,000, the next month it might be worth $490,000, and so that LVR typically changes. The banks don't reassess the LVR until you have asked for more money. So if you get a mortgage at 80%, let's say you buy a house for 500,000 and borrow 400,000, the next month it drops to 490, the bank isn't necessarily going to be concerned about that. So don't think too much about it. The LVR matters most when you buy a house and when you ask for more money or are looking to buy a second house. All right, I hope that explains LVRs. Next time someone talks about an 80% LVR, you'll know that they have mortgaged 80% of the value of their home and you'll be able to chat about that. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe down below to watch more of our videos. Cheers.